So, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes retaining his title at SummerSlam 2024. I like that they had Arn in the background. I like this little walk up. I, 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 at first, I was like, oh, I was like, what is? What the hell is this? He's walking his dog. Didn't like that necessarily, but it, it, when you really think about it, it was pretty cool because they don't do that. But he retains at SummerSlam. I called this. Y'all should go watch my SummerSlam preview and prediction video. The only thing that I got wrong in that video was the McIntyre Punk match. And even I got that right to a specific degree. I said that if McIntyre had won, the feud between him and Punk would come to an end. So now it's going. it looks like it's going to be Punk and Seth Rollins going forward. I don't know who McIntyre is going to feud with. It might still be... It might be just the three of them for the rest of the year going up until Royal Rumble. But this video ain't about them. Or the overall prediction. Well, it is about the predictions. I want to take y'all back. Way back. Back before Roman showed up. So to make a long-ass video even shorter, all right? Jacob Fatu comes out. This is after parts of the Bloodline came out. Randy Orton came out. Kevin Owens came out, both cleared out, you know, the other members of the bloodline. Jacob Fatu comes out there and does what Jacob Fatu does, and that's like flawlessly and aggressively do moves that guys his size probably shouldn't do with this little as effort and as much precision as possible. I'm telling y'all, Jacob Fatu is just so great. But, okay, so this is the part of the match or the part of the whole situation that flipped everything. So he's about to go up to the top rope and and basically splash Cody Rhodes through the table, right? So he splashes Cody through a table. He's done this before, so yeah. But immediately after he puts Cody through the table, he grabs at his right ankle. Now, I don't know if this is a cape fave injury or not. I would, man, I would almost bet a ham sandwich if this is a cape fave injury that Jacob Fatu was told to do that opening the door for what y'all about to see next. Cody and Solo are down in the middle of the ring after a near fall too. And then here comes Roman's long ass intro. His intro is just so, so long. He, I mean, it's like, it shouldn't be that long. And y'all notice that his, his, his song is more faces, 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 faces. It's more, it sounds like a baby face song, okay? Y'all gonna leave me alone in the comments, okay? I, I, had to, I messed it. I ain't editing this either. So just to confirm, yeah, that's Reigns, man. He's back. He hits the ring. Superman punched the solo. You gotta listen to this on surround sound because you would have thought that the Browns had won the Super Bowl or something. I mean, that stadium probably ain't never been that loud, ever. This moment right here blew out one of my speakers. I, I mean... I mean, I, I I didn't expect for that stadium to get that loud. He gives Solo a spear. This is the really important part here. He looks over at Cody and he just kind of nods his head in approval. He nodded his head in approval. Cody pins Solo after a crossroads to, do, to retain his title at SummerSlam. Like I called it. I'm going to keep saying I called it, man. I called this. I called basically this whole entire card clean. Let me know how you guys feel about Roman coming back, man. This definitely sets up Survivor Series War Games. And I would go even farther and say that I think that Reigns is going to win the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania 41 is going to be Rose versus Reigns for the third year in a row. I'm just going to go that far. I know I know that people hate when I do shit like that. But, <laughs> but I have to, like, I have to like foreshadow for all those people out there that don't understand the symmetry of professional wrestling. Yes, listen. Yes, the final boss has something to do with this. That match might happen at, it might happen at Royal Rumble itself. That match has got to happen before Roman versus um, Cody happens again. So I expect it for that to happen probably, possibly at a Royal Rumble. So I'm doing a little bit of forecasting here. Haven't been wrong in a while. So we're talking about Survivor Series now. We're looking clear past whatever the hell's happening in the next couple of weeks. Bad blood, all that stuff. 
What do you guys think is going to happen next, man? Those are my predictions coming up. I would say on a scale from 1 to 10, I would give SummerSlam 2024 a strong 8.5. I would have said maybe a 9 if Tiffany Stratton had cashed in. Like, definitely a 9, maybe 9.5. This pay-per-view was, it, it was chaotic. It was hard-hitting. And it summed up a lot of, it tied up a lot of loose ends with storylines. It really did, and it created um, some brand new ones. And the biggest domino is the guy that you see standing right in front of you or on the screen right now. He's the biggest domino to fall. If he didn't appear at this pay-per-view, Survivor Series would have been in trouble. Royal Rumble would have been up in the air. All those things are confirmed now. He's probably going to win Royal Rumble. Let me know if you guys are ready to see um, Cody versus Roman again at WrestleMania 41 in Las Vegas. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'll, I'll even go as far to tell y'all that in that main event match, I'm telling y'all right now, you're probably going to see Cody turn heel at WrestleMania 41. It's probably going to happen. I know that people are going to, like people definitely hate me. People going to hate me, man, because for whatever reason, it's just like I'm not missing, and I'm just not going to miss this either. And I think I called WrestleMania 40s, I think I called WrestleMania 41's main event a year in advance. I, I did it too 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 early. I jumped the gun. One more thing I want to mention: um, Jelly Bean's theme song "Liar" fit this pay per view so so well, and I didn't catch it until I heard it. I didn't even hear his performance at the beginning of the pay per view. I just I I I came in at the Lib Morgan match the, the, at the beginning, so I just wanted to wrap to y'all a few minutes before the video was over. I do appreciate all the support that I get on this channel. My channel is still rapidly growing. One subscriber at a time. I post a whole bunch of content. I think that y'all like the WWE content the most. So let me know what you guys feel about um, Wrestle uh, WrestleMania. SummerSlam 2024 down in the comments. Would you? How would you rate it from a scale to 1 to 10? Please, like, let me know. I give this pay-per-view an A grade. Not an A minus, not an A plus, an A. It gets a straight A. And watch it. If you're going to watch this back, watch it on surround sound. Like, just just, just trust me. Watch it on surround sound. If I didn't tell y'all already, matter of fact, I'm going to link. This is what I'm going to do for y'all. I'm going to link my SummerSlam prediction and preview video down below. Y'all tell me how accurate I was. Y'all tell me. And until next time, peace out, man. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and share it. All y'all friends out there, share that I was accurate, man. Share how Share the, share the pinpoint accuracy of my predictions for SummerSlam 2024.